What's up everybody? Zach Hampel coming to you from Baseball Town, Reading, Pennsylvania, home of the Phillies double A team, the Fightin' Phils, and I am so pumped to be here. It is Zach Hampel Day at the stadium, actually. It's like a whole promotion with the team. I did the same thing three years ago here. I'll link to that video in the description. That game in 2019 got rained out, so we're doing it up again. They're opening the stadium early, special VIP package for fans, gonna get out to the outfield, catch baseballs, doing an autograph session. There are specially designed bobbleheads of me today. They're gonna show the trailer for the documentary about me on the Jumbotron, gonna throw the ceremonial first pitch, and who knows what else is gonna happen. So, I mean, let's just do a little 180 here. Look at this place. The Fightins are out on the field. They're gonna start taking BP soon. So, I mean, I suppose I, I should probably leave a few baseballs for them, but it's just, it's just so tempting. I, I just gotta, I just gotta go, sorry. Give me the scouting report for BP. Where to go for all the home runs? Well, we got a lot of right-handed hitters, so I'd probably go to left field. Even if the wind is blowing to right, yeah, go to I left? Mean, yeah, we got majority of our, the majority of our hitters are righty. Second today in DHing, and look at this. Finally, we're Hi, here. Good. You ready for some BP? Yes. Yeah, man. What's yeah. up? How's it going? All right. So batting practice is underway, and there are a ton of people out here to catch baseballs and also to meet me, which is a tremendous honor. Great to see so many people out here on this cold day with a little bit of rain, but thankfully not too much that they're canceling BP. So hoping for some action in just a little bit. Now I don't have a baseball yet but I do have a secret plan to get one. And I picked left field for starters just because I was told by a special source, the manager of the Fightins, that they do have a very righty heavy roster and lineup. So yeah, hoping for some balls to fly this way. And like I said, gonna get on the board in just a moment here. Oh, this guy's cranking them. He wants you to sign it. Oh, 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 that Check that out. Here we go. 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 On the board. I love getting access like this behind the outfield wall where no one else can go. Check this out. And I think there's another baseball sitting over right there. Can you see it in the background? <laughs> All right. Beautiful. So I got a couple of nice looking baseballs. There are some really old balls here as well. Look at this. Old oh, balls. Wow. 
I don't know what the deal is here, but I hear people yelling my name, but this one doesn't even have the cover, and if you look over here, here's a cover that's completely removed from the ball, so do I count this as having snagged three baseballs now? Um, I think we'll put this one back, and let's go find some people to give these to. Here's a baseball for you. You're welcome. Can I chuck it? Here we go. Oh! All right, we got it. copy of my most recent book, The Baseball, autograph for this young man. Thank you. Cool, you got it. Another one. Yeah. Wow, it's like a book signing here today. Can I get a picture? Yeah, you know it. Up here, please! That's from last night. This is a photo from last night. They got this thing printed quickly. There you go. All right. We are now going to head over to the right field deck. Oh, there's a toss up. All right, so, all let's right, go. let's do it. And on the way to right field, look what's sitting over here. Look at all this, there are these old decomposing baseballs here. I don't even know what to do with this. Here's another one. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave these here for nature to just have its way with. Is a wrap on batting practice. Lots of fun, lots of action out in the outfield today. Wanted to make sure that I got over to the right field area to check it out. They got those swimming pools out here, and I have to say, the water is very warm even on this chilly day. So, great setup. Again, lots of awesome people. You can see everybody here hanging out. And for right now, I am going to head over into the concourse, I think, on the first base side, do some autographs and meet and greets. So, just going to keep this fun rolling. Yeah, yeah, for your What's up, what's up? Hey, everyone. Wow, this is awesome. Hey, hey, hey. What's up? All right. First one online has both of the books. Love it. <laughs> So, all right, I'm gonna speed up the footage here or else it's gonna take an hour to get through it. Now, I remember waiting on lines as a kid to get autographs at baseball card shows, so let me tell you, it felt amazing for a change to be the one that people were waiting for. And hang on, quick water break, and of course, not Dasani. So, yeah, it was a whole lot of fun to have so many of my fans show up, including a couple of kids who were wearing my t-shirts. Let me pause it right here to give you a better look at the famous ball hawk to puss. And here's another design that I call the excited fan. ZachHample.com slash merch. That's where you can grab one. But anyway, here's a close-up look at the bobbleheads that the Fightin' Phil's designed just for my appearance. You know, I kind of think they look like me. And you're going to see the number 40 on the back. That was my uniform number in high school and summer ball, and I wanted it in college too, but those dummies wouldn't give it to me, and yes, I'm still pissed about it. Thankfully, the fine folks here in Reading were more accommodating. So, I signed a bunch of those, and some baseballs too, of course, and look at this. One guy had me sign some photos of myself that he'd printed off the internet, and here's something even cooler. 
Fernando Tatis Jr. signed this hat, and the kid who'd gotten it asked me to sign it too. At that point, there were still a bunch of fans waiting to meet me, but unfortunately they needed to keep waiting because I had to head out to the field to throw the ceremonial first pitch. It was pretty cool to get a few fist bumps along the way, and while I had a couple of minutes to spare, I caught up with general manager Scott Hunsicker and some VIPs, including Pennsylvania State Representative Matthew Bradford and his kids. Then I started to get my arm loose again. Remember, it had been more than two hours since I'd played catch with Logan Ohapi, and the real field temperature was only 37 degrees Fahrenheit, or 3 degrees Celsius for my friends around the globe. That, by the way, makes it hard to throw, and you can see that everyone was bundled up, from the players to the fans. I took some selfies and signed some autographs through the netting, and then saw a popular fan named Adam Briscoe doing his famous dance called the Briscoe Disco, so of course I joined him, and before I knew it, a portion of the documentary about me started playing on the Jumbotron, and then I was introduced to the crowd. Our final first pitch is today's honor guest. He's a full-time YouTuber, published author, and charity fundraiser. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Zach Campbell. Now listen guys, don't leave nasty comments about how my videographer Fenway Chris needs a wind guard on the microphone. He has one, okay? But it was extremely windy and there was only so much that he could do. As for what I did out here, I just wanted to make sure I didn't bounce it, and well, mission accomplished, although I did throw it a bit out of the strike zone, and then I addressed the crowd. Hey everyone, thanks so much for coming out. Really great to be back here in baseball town. I came out in 2019 and that game got rained out, so I'm glad it's dry today. If you get a chance to check out the new documentary about me, Zach Campbell vs. The World, and look for the video that I'm filming today on my YouTube channel. A lot of you guys are going to see yourselves in it. And after this, I'm going to be signing autographs, hanging out in the concourse. So just look for me, come up, say hey. Really great to be back. Thank you. Thanks, I appreciate it, buddy. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Zach Campbell. You'll be able to meet him. So Zach, I got a little softball. And Josh Hendrickson starting pitcher. No kidding. You got it. Thank you. You got it. Awesome. Check out the Jumbotron again. While I was heading off the field, another portion of the documentary started playing. And while I signed for a few more fans, the umpires headed toward home plate. Game time was just a few minutes away, but I had to go. Remember all those fans who were still waiting for the meet and greet? Well, these fans lined up on the left were part of a different group that was also waiting to see me. I'll be right back. <laughs> Bounce the ceremonial first pitch. <laughs> it, was, it was a little high and outside, but it was we made it there. Thank you for being patient, everybody. I appreciate it. Shout out to my intern Max for filming this portion of the meet and greet so that Fenway Chris could head back to the field with his fancy camera for the start of the game. Not sure if you caught it earlier, but the Somerset Patriots were here and we wanted to make sure to get some shots of their leadoff batter, Anthony Volpe, who is the number one prospect for the Yankees and their future shortstop. And that's him right there, so check it out. Well, the kid got fooled on an off-speed pitch, but he's going to be an absolute stud. Someone should tell him, though, that he's going to have to change his uniform number. But anyway, while that was happening, I was heading back to this other autograph session out here in the concourse. Hey, hey. Yo, Hamill. What's up, guys? Hello. Hey. Hey. Hey, Chris. All right. Ready to do this? All right. So they had me tucked in this little nook next to the bar, and I gotta pause it right here. You recognize this dude? It's Jeff Siegel, the guy who made the documentary about me, and he brought a whole lot of stuff for the merch table. The fans were ready, the bobblehead signs were ready, and just like that, another autograph session was underway. And look, a lot of haters will claim that I'm showing all this to boost my ego, but I just wanted to get as many fans in the video as possible. I happen to know that for a lot of people, especially kids, 
being on YouTube is even cooler than being on TV, especially when it's my YouTube channel because I'm so awesome. But seriously, this day in Reading was all about the fans. And as for the specific items that I signed, this was definitely one of my favorites. Thank you. Look at that, the poster. 11 by 17 inches for you. And you can see what else I signed, including lots of books. This one called The Baseball is truly a fun and easy read. I also signed copies of Watching Baseball Smarter, along with a bunch of baseballs. And look at this one. It was also signed by Fenway Chris. Personally, I think this vendor should have also signed it. And in case you're wondering, yes, there was still a long line of people waiting to see me. I really did not expect all this. And so the autographs continued. Bobbleheads, photos of me taking it my biggest moments, and lots of posters, which, by the way, we handed out for free. One guy even had me sign his cast. And then there was this. So, in order to sign one of these DVDs, oh, you got to take the plastic off, and then I'll show you what happens next. And then I think we open this up, and we take out the insert, if I can get it. Come on, there it is. And then you sign the paper directly. Okay, the autograph session has finally concluded. I think I signed, I mean not I think, I definitely signed a triple digit number of autographs today. My right hand is almost sore from all that writing. Not that I'm complaining, it was fun. But this game is like in the sixth inning now. Haven't even seen one pitch. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. So, gonna grab some food, go chill for a few minutes, catch my breath, and then get out to the seats, check out the end of the game. So, come on. I guess we're signing more autographs after all. Yes, for Thank sure. You. Can you sign this please? Yep, I'll get all you guys. Thank you. Where are we going to eat? Right, I'll just eat right here. This way, Micah, sir. Thank you. Green room! What's up, people? Hey! When I started, I was actually in charge of all these, those, I don't know, I'm more talking about like, all these um, stamps. That's like a <laughs> I have finally made it out to the seats, and so it's time for the first scoreboard update of the day. Top of the eighth inning, not too much game remaining, and right now the visiting Somerset Patriots, the Yankees AA affiliate, well they're winning 3-2 to two over the Fightins. There was just actually a home run that went out to right field onto that pool deck. If I'd been out there, might have made a play. And so, yeah, I'm not expecting to catch anything sitting right behind this netting, but the opportunity to just sit so close and relax and just watch the game for a bit, can't pass that up. is catching a lot of baseballs and then making videos about catching baseballs. It's this many. I always write the number under my name, so 11,661.
All right, so we have balls stuck on the net. Oh! I'm trying, man. Yeah! Whoa! Let's see it, let's see it. <laughs> Everybody, that's my intern, Max Edelman. Zach is the best baseball YouTuber on the platform. to the game here today in Reading, Pennsylvania. The fight and fills with a walk-off home run, a two-run shot by Wendell Rio to beat the Somerset Patriots five to three. Lots of excitement out on the field and lots of excitement for me personally from beginning to end. I think for me the highlight was just getting to meet so many people. So big thank you to everyone who showed up today. It was really cold. Thankfully the rain held off. But yeah, just great vibes from everyone, including the fightings themselves. The players were cool, the coaches were cool. Scott Hunsicker, the GM, he is the man. So thank you to him and his entire staff. Of course, it was nice to get some free food as well in there. Barely had time to eat. Things were just so nuts. And listen, guys, check the description for this video because I'm gonna throw all kinds of info there. The documentary, Zach Hample versus the World. If you haven't seen that, get on it. Also, if you don't have my books, I'll put some info in the description about those as well. And, of course, I was here in Reading three years ago. That game got rained out. There's a great video, though, so I'll throw a link to that video in the description. As for the baseballs that I snagged today, I'm not even sure exactly how many, like five or six out behind the outfield walls. That was fun, but they don't count for my lifetime total. That's just a major league thing, so minor league balls, spring training balls, doesn't count. So if you saw my signature close up where I was writing the number 11661, that's just Major League Balls at Major League Stadiums. But again, still really cool. And so that's pretty much it. Got a long drive back to New York City now. I'll be at Yankee Stadium tomorrow. So that video should be coming next and then hitting the road after that for lots more stuff. So thank you so much for watching. This was really just a wild day and I'm so glad that I was able to do it. And uh, I'll be back soon with lots more fun stuff. Take it easy, guys.